get ready for this. Hi there folks, you are watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Today we are out here with a beautiful Pieta replica of the 1858 New Model Army. This one is in the Sheriff's Barrel. Um, I've always admired the shorter barreled 58 Remingtons for a long time. Finally got my hands on one. Got this one used, but it has that distinct look of a gun that was uh, purchased and then never used or used very lately and just been sitting in a safe for a while. So we're going to get it loaded up. I got some homemade felt wads, some 454 home cast round balls, some number 11 percussion caps because number 10s are low on stock. We're just going to give them a little pinch. Ideally, you would want to use number 10s, but that's not a possibility today. I got my cylinder loading stand out here today because loading on this shorter um, loading lever probably will be um, not great. I mean, not possible, of course, but, you know. And then also some balso oil to put on the base pin to keep things running smoothly throughout our day today. So this gun doesn't look like it has been fired. I have not fired it yet, and we're going to change that here momentarily. So I'm going to get it loaded up, and then we're going to go shoot it off downrange. So... This cylinder, I could tell you, is definitely unfired. I believe the whole gun itself is unfired as well. And everything looks dry, clean, and ready to go. My procedure before shooting one of these, any cap and ball revolver on the range, just to put six caps on the nipples. Um, of course, run the dry patch through each chamber, make sure all the oil is out. This one I did not, because I could tell that there's, there's just nothing there. But um, just to make sure it's functioning correctly and that there's nothing in um, the nipple holes, I'm gonna fire some caps off down range just to uh, make sure everything is clear so let's do that right now got my hearing protection on hearing protection on so let's get it done all right very smooth action let's load it up and put some rounds down range okay the remington sheriff is all loaded up with 30 grains of powder, 454 round ball, which fit very snug. And of course, we're using the number 11s like we talked about before. Um, 10 to 12 yards away from the target. Let's take it on and see where it's just shooting. I have a feeling it's going to go high just because it has a shorter barrel length. And uh, this is actually a pretty tall front sight. We'll see. All right, let's shoot, take some shots on range and see what happens. Okay, I was wrong. It's going low and left. So I was aiming at that shooting dot right down here at the bottom, and we're going low and left. We're going about four to six inches low, six to eight inches left. Shooting one-handed, of course, but that's a consistent grouping. I know some people don't like it when I shoot off-handed with one hand, but that's how I'm going to shoot all my revolvers. I don't shoot two-handed from a rest. That's not very enjoyable. They at the range for me personally, but to each their own, right? So, low and left. All right, I'll take that into account going forward. All right, we got the New Model Army Sheriff loaded up again. We're going to put it down range on some steel. Let's see how it goes. Low and left. Cap fell off. Well, I did miss a few times, but in my defense, the target was shaking all over the place, all right? In my defense. Um, but that's not good enough. All right, we're going to shoot that Remington here again in about 30 seconds, but I just want to make a quick mention of the fact that I am associated with Legal Heat now. Um, Legal Heat offers concealed carry classes 
all around the country. So I have a link down below where you can you know, click on that link and you can put in your zip code and you can find a class near you. And if you use my discount code BPS44, you can get 10% off your concealed carry class. So if you need a concealed carry permit, get a discount on your class. Enter that down below. I get a little kickback from that. So if you enjoy this channel, you know, show me some support, all right? Follow that link down below, click that link, and uh, you can get a discount off your course. Also, some of you know that I make those custom wood presentation boxes for your camp ball revolver. When I have a new one, I will make a video going, hey, here's the specific box that I have for sale. Um, if you want it, send me a direct email or direct message or whatever, and we could get that sale worked out, all right? So let's get back to shooting. Enough talking. Alright, adjusted for that low and left and we got all six on target. I was also a few paces closer, but don't, don't tell anyone. Alright, we got some shaving cream and some bottles down there. And also I have, I have the container hanging off of the shepherd's hook. Hopefully I do not shoot that shepherd's hook because I just bought it. So I better not hit it. But anyway, is this a historically accurate replica? No guys, the, the historically accurate replica of the new model army is a standard eight inch longer barreled version. The five and a half inch barrel did not exist back in the 1800s. Now, I am sure there were many people who just cut down the barrel to have a shorter barrel length gun. Um, you know, that's probably, it was probably semi-common. You know, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure anyone's like, hey, I could just cut down the barrel and have more of a compact version of the new model army. So I'm sure that happened many times, but technically, this is not historically accurate. Now it's a historically accurate uh, caliber and everything else, uh, but I just wanted to make that quick note. So let's get back to shooting. We had two caps fall off. Man, that one almost took me out again. So I was standing right about there and that shaving cream came back to here and it was all the way over there originally. It's trying to get me. Alright, we are done shooting but I want to make sure that there are no shaving cream cans hiding on this wood pile here, alright? So we're going to take a careful look around, see if there are any more. There has been plenty of carnage here today. Look at all that shaving cream. There's a spent one down there. Shaving cream to try to take me out earlier. Carefully walk around this pile. Aha! There's one. the gun all over me yeah that was a smart move <laughs> well that was a genius idea by yours truly as you can see I am covered with shaving cream my gun is covered with shaving cream now uh, my camera it was covered until I grabbed some paper towels and wipe everything down note to self don't shoot a shaving cream from within three yards all right because it'll come back to get you. You know, right before I fired, I was like, you know, this actually might get on me, but yeah, I guess I went through with it, right? So <laughs> that's gonna wrap up our video for today. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed that legendary moment on the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. If you did like that, you better subscribe down below because I took the brunt of the force from that shaving cream, all right? So anyway, I have to go. I'm hungry. It's about supper time. Um, I, need to ta I need to change my shirt because I am covered in my shaving cream wound. I need to start cleaning this gun, all right? Um, so, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on this fine Friday evening. Um, I better wrap this up, all right? <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, leave a comment down below, and I'm gonna get cleaned up and then go cook something because, like I said, I am hungry, all right? Take care, guys.